For assignment 7, we'll be doing figure P6-11. There's two pieces, and with the office slash professional level install, we'll, uh, we'll be able to um, use the, uh, the toolbox in the assembly to uh, bring in the, uh, the, the hex head screws. So looking at this, we have, uh, can do this as revolves. Don't know that the uh, the whole wizard is really going to uh, to help us there, and we'll um, we'll uh, try to utilize the um, cosmetic threads and the uh, the standard threads for this um, for this build. So let's fly this out, and we'll open up a new part. We are in millimeters. So you can go into the front plane because I'm planning on a revolve. I'm going to do the line for construction, infinite length, and that line was L on the keyboard. All right, we can also right click and go to sketch entities or back up to our sketch tab and uh, select the other line from there. So vertical uh, for construction, infinite length. We'll place it, and then I'm just going to hit escape and go back into L on the keyboard. Oh, now the fourth way, S on the keyboard will get us into the um, uh, that uh, that list. So, all right, so I'm going to bring this over some distance. I'll go ahead and include the uh, the chamfer. Uh, come up some distance. We could use the um, the jog here. It's probably about as easy to sketch those in, and then up to the overall height. And because I want the revolve, we'll close that in. It gives me the uh, the region, and we have the vertical. Select Control Select. We'll go to collinear, and then these are the same depths and heights. So five for two grooves. Um, so we could make those collinear and equal. Right. And then the check is, well, did not grab that one, so that can become collinear. And now if they move as a group, we're going to have, um, have that associativity. All right, so our diameter is going back to the center line from the object to the center line. We go to the opposite side, and that is 20 millimeters. And we're given the M20 thread on the base, and then 20 millimeters up on the um, uh, the diameter. And then a diameter of 15 for the two grooves, and because I just did a diameter, I'm just going to assume that I want to continue. So 15 and enter. And then to get rid of the diameter dimensioning, I'll hit escape once. And then that'll put it back to where I can start picking my linear distances. So to the bottom of the groove is 23. And we had a little uh, inversion go on there. So if I zoom up and grab the blue dot and reverse it, basically just dragging it up a little bit higher. I can apply the five and because, and it's not gonna let me do it in the, uh, in the dimension command. So right click and escape or select or escape on the keyboard and we'll be able to pull that geometry. Our overall was 73. So for that, I'll just grab the line And the second groove is showing 25 millimeters from the top of the part to the top of the groove. So that all looks pretty good. And then 45 degrees and three millimeters. Okay, and that gives us our geometry. So we can do features and revolve. 
and we're ready for the uh, the hex. So opening a sketch on the top, we'll go into the polygon. And I want to plan ahead that when I go to cut this little the the relief, the uh, the chamfer around the outside, that I'm going to be able to go through that point with the um, uh, the cuts to get to the uh, to the flat. So we'll see that in a minute. But it's um, with the uh, the hex. I would either be lining it up through the front plane or the right plane. Uh, I'm just making sure that um, I kind of know which one I'm. Uh, working on there, so we'll make that horizontal. Across the flats is 25, so since it's an inscribed circle, we can go 25 to the construction circle. And then Control 7 on the keyboard, Features Extrude, and we're going up. I want to reverse and go into the part. And we're merging, so five millimeters on the merge. And now I can open up a sketch on the right plane, but I really need to see sketch two for that inscribed circle. So I'm going to go ahead and show that before I get into the front plane sketch. And if I go to line, and I draw a little triangle that's going to represent that chamfer. Uh, to make it um, 90 degrees, I can set those equal, make a 45 degree. And then we haven't used the Pierce relation, uh, but coincident might work, but not usually. So even though I get coincident to that circle, there are a lot of places that that can be coincident to, to uh, generate a length where if I pick the point and control select the circle, Pierce says there are exactly two solutions where that plane crosses that circle. One on this side, one on this side. All right. So since this is a revolve, I need an axis of revolution. And go ahead and hide. Uh, let's just do the uh, L command again. I'll go from midpoint back to the origin. We'll switch that to for construction. And then this time, let's see if I, um, trying to just illustrate different ways, I have probably the habit of going into features and just doing the revolve. But with sketch tr three still selected, um, accepting the sketch and we're back out into the work area, hitting the S key and then doing the revolve and actually that's going to make a positive, that's not going to help. Alright, so the sketch 3, S key, and we'll go down to... Try that one more time. Yeah, I guess the uh, the cut would be a better better selection, that's about how often I do this. So It lost the, uh, the sketch, so we'll fly out. There's a lot of geometry going on, so I might be able to do the center line, but I'm I think I'm going to be safer selecting sketch three. All right, so that knocks the um, uh, the corners off of the the hex, and let's go ahead and um, save this. And we're going to go to assignment seven that I previously created in File Explorer, and this will be my. Um, my hex bolt. And we could put maybe a size on there, but if it's if this is something that m might work into configurations where we'd have a 20 millimeter, 25, and we would want to set up different um, uh, different lengths, different geometries, we could um, we could work through that. All right, so selecting the lower edge, we'll go up to the insert annotation. Cosmetic thread, and we're going to be in the ANSI metric, and an M20 by 2.5. Um, just relating this back to a um, to the inches, 2.5 millimeters would be about a hundred thousandths, 
and two millimeters would be about 80 thousandths, 20 by 1.5 would be about 60 thousandths. So in that group, I kind of I think I'll probably be in the middle since they didn't call it out specifically. We'll go with the, um, uh, the two millimeter class of thread and then up to next. So if this is just a thread relief, so when we're machining the, uh, the threads that it just has a terminating point, then that will work fine. And that gives us uh, that geometry. So the uh, next one would be to, let's go back to the revolve. Sometimes we have to look for where the cosmetic uh, thread got applied. If I were to hide that, then I would want to consider making this a configuration. If we want to see those threads. Those threads have create, sometimes create more problems than they're, they're worth. So the solid thread, let's add a configuration and I'll give it a name so that we can pick it and pick that edge. We're back to the uh, the features and I think it's probably more uh, illustrative to go to the uh, command manager whole wizard thread and once you get used to that symbol it'll be a little easier to recognize in the S key. Uh, size profiles are nominal so you're saying um, you're on your own. Uh, so let's see, that was three millimeters for the uh, the chamfer. I want to be able to make sure that that fully engages. And then uh, let's just go up to selection. We'll see if it overruns. So it makes one complete thread passed, so that should be good. And this is not an inch die, this is a metric die. So again, dies cut the external, taps cut the internal. And we used a M20 by 2. And it is a cut thread, so it's removing material as opposed to adding the material on the outside. And still haven't really gone through the multiple starts we don't need, but it would be two, three, or four leads, which would increase the, uh, the thread, so it's a faster thread, but it's a little more complicated. It's a lot more complicated to make. Uh, I can't say that I've ever made one. Uh, trim with uh, the start face and trim with the end face. I think those are uh, with the offset. I have better luck with uh, with those. And so there we have the, um, the thread. So I go back to the default. Thread goes away. Go to the solid thread. And make sure to save this.